everyone. It is the official practice day for pre-fishing for Lake Folsom at Yakabaster event. Uh, got plenty of things tied on. Hoping to trigger a reaction bite today. I don't know exactly what they're gonna be going after. But my goal today is just to find uh, potentially good spots it'll hold and see if I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna be on the left or the right side of the lake. Um, ideally, I still wanna hit the middle of the lake because there's that long tapering island that just reaches into the main body of water. I'm comfortable to say that I think that's gonna be a good spot if they're holding. Uh, but yeah, today's plan is just to learn and adjust from this environment, uh, figure out a plan for the day of the tournament, and you know, just put it all together and see what happens. Uh, I'm hoping to catch a limit. If not a limit, uh, you know what? <laughs> Gotta learn, right? Keep learning. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Take care. All right, so we're gonna start at 39 foot, one of the main points from the docks. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the Mimuzu Shaky Head. Um, I really like using this in the past, and I'm hoping it'll be effective for today. So yeah, I'm going to be throwing it on my Stradic Shimano 3000 on a Dobbins Fury FR633. I have a six pound test line, very light. Uh, this rod is ideal for shaky head setup. So yeah, let's, let's see if I can just get something to trigger, to bite, and go from there. All right, cool. At least I can knock out the shaky head for the moment and just say that you know i did try it uh it didn't produce anything so i'm seeing on the graph they're at 25 feet that's fine uh, let's give them something to chase so i'm going to start off with the alabama root it's a little bit heavier but Any luck, Dom? <laughs> How's it going? This, it's all right, man. Just still coming along, creeping through. Yeah, did, did you have any luck yesterday? Nah, man. At Granite, I, I tried. I, I grind all the way like from the, the right side of that, that river arm. Yeah. I found like a ton of fish, but I couldn't tell if they were bass or not. They ran from my baits. I was throwing crank baits, spoon, a bunch of stuff. It's just too muddy over there. Stumps and stuff, but. Just I haven't ever, never really like driven into them as they were coming around. Like I'm looking down, looking at the maps, next time I'm hearing the smack, you know, like oh crap. <laughs> yeah, that's all we could do, man. Yeah, I heard you from a distance. I recognize your voice, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds good. All right, bro. All right, good luck to you, man. Good luck, man. Thank you. All right, let's recap what we've done so far. So the previous day, we were over there on the Granite area and explored a lot of locations. For the next day, we end up heading over to near the Lake Ridge Oaks uh, launch. This is pretty much by Summit Village. So we used the ramp there to go ahead and just trigger off and see what we can do within this following area. My goal was to at least cover these points here, which I'm going to highlight for you, and to track down exactly where fish activity was going. At one point, I made it back to the other side and landed near this cove, which actually got a little bit of action. Activity looks like on the bottom, so... Covered a lot of areas again. Um, Mark some points that I seem seem like they can potentially hold for tomorrow, but the weather's changing. So this is going to be second day now, where we're getting warmer weather, and tomorrow it's warming up again. But that's right before you know calm before the storm because the rain's coming back. So I got to figure out: Are these guys going to be coming up to the bank to eat? Are they going to stick tight within that depth range of 30 to 60 feet? If I don't catch a fish in this one. Well, <laughs> then I guess uh, there's another day, right? Well, tomorrow's another day. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's been, uh, been a hell of a day. It's warm, it's nice, it's not that cold. Be me, let's roll.